morning and welcome back to Suitcase Princess. I am Shauna and today we are taking you to our favorite water park, which is Schlitterbahn in New Braunfels, Texas. We're just making a day trip of it today. So it is about 9.15 in the morning and we left our house two hours ago. So it is about a two and a half to three hour drive from our house. Normally we would stay more locally with my in-laws, but today we are just making a day trip. So we have been to this Schlitterbahn location and to their other location in Galveston since everything has reopened after like lockdown crazy quarantine time. And we've been really impressed uh, comparing them to other venues how they're handling the reopening procedures. You have to log online, schedule a reservation time, date and time for entry, and they've got them metered with a significantly reduced, I think it's 25 or 50% capacity um, guest quota. And then once you get there, no, that's not right. Oh, and then 24 hours before your reservation, you have to log on and complete kind of an online health screening for your travel party. And then you print that out, print out your reservation, have your ticket or pass. And once you get there, you have to go through a temperature screening, um, you know, metal detector, back check, the whole nine yards, and then you're able to get in. And we have found that they have had the most thorough and honestly the you know the most impressive of what we've seen as far as reopening procedures and, and guest protocols and such they also require masks pretty much anywhere but in the water we have been sticking with and i'm sure I'll, you'll see them later in the video like a neck gaiter so that we can have it down when we're on a ride but up and on when we're walking around and in line any of that stuff so our goal today is just to take you along on what we're doing. Before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Amelia, do you want to tell anybody where we're going? Um, we're going to Schlitterbahn. To Schlitterbahn.
So the good news is we drove from our home. It only took us two hours and 45 minutes even with a stop, which means we are now excessively early for our 11 o'clock reservation. So we are just gonna hang out. Hang out, wait it out, maybe eat a snack. Okay, so I told you guys that we were gonna wear, like you have to wear masks basically everywhere you're not in the water. And so what we got is like these neck gator things. And so the plan is just to keep them here when we don't need them or we're on a ride and wear them here. They have these awesome little filter pockets, which of course we're not going to use because we're going to be in the water. Um, and then I actually, I think you can buy some like this, but I cut holes so that it goes over my ears and it helps it stay on. Uh, we got two packs in adult sizes on Amazon and two packs in kiddo sizes. So we have these two packs for the girls as well. Same filter pockets. Um, again, I think ear holes would be better. And maybe that's something I can sew on is like a nice little ear loop. But we just keep them around our necks and they stay a little damp and then we can pull them up just so quickly as needed, whether there's a lot of people walking around or whatever. And then another thing, so must have for myself here is this, uh, this sunglasses strap because what was it, a couple years ago? A couple years ago, I had my like fancy coach prescription sunglasses on my head, right? Open like this on my head. And as soon as we got here, I went to the restroom. As I am like pulling up my pants and flushing the toilet, as I'm flushing the toilet, the sunglasses fall backwards off my head, fold up suddenly and suck down to toilet hole oblivion, never to be seen again. So, Ever since then, I've got my uh, my handy dandy floats protection on much cheaper sunglasses.
Blastinoff section of Glitterbond New Braunfels. We are headed to the, uh, what is that section called? What is it? Surfenberg. Thank you. The tube and back in the middle, there's a big fun ride called the Falls that is super fun. It's like Rapids and Lazy River. And there's like a big conveyor belt called the Aquavator, which I love. But it creates a lot of log jam. So I think due to the massive amount of cases and influxes right now, especially in this region in Texas, they've shut it down just out of concern of closeness and safety. As you can see, we are all sporting our masks. Our masks as we walk around. When we're basically not on a ride, we have our masks on. How to do? Yeah. So Schlitterbahn has amended their schedule a few times. They originally were going to open up also the original water park section of this campus here. And then they were also going to open up Tubenbach and they just keep kind of cutting back on what they're actually doing. So they um, just blasting off in Surfenberg is the best we're going to get this year. But, you know, we'll take whatever we can get out of the house right now. We'll do our best to be safe, but hoping to still get out and have some fun. Hey, want to know something funny, Kara? When I saw the call sign in the entrance, I went there. You waved. You don't want to ride it? They've got hand sanitizer stations, stations. All right, you want to tell us what we're going to do next? We're going to go, um, it's not um, the Circle Bass River. It's another river on the other side by the Dragon Ride. But it doesn't have a wave pool. No, it just has a, it doesn't have a wave pool. It just has, um, a shooting that you can go in or just, ride around and then go in that fast lane. Uh -huh. but it's super like really rustic and cute and there's awesome flowers out front they have a little water tower I'm sure I'll put some pictures in um, and had a great meal with an amazing steak and then we headed over to visit Aunt Sarah's apartment which we've not been to and she's even renewed the lease since then um, so we can check that off we did that but me not thinking or being good with the geography, didn't realize or even consider that it was 40 minutes the other direction from home. I was thinking we could swing by on our way home, foolishly, um, but we did it and we visited. It was a great visit and now we are headed home and I did not think about filming this outro before it got dark. So, long day, great day, we had great fun. Like I said, this morning, Schlitterbahn is just awesome. They're doing a great job with the things to keep people safe. You know, as safe as you can be while still getting to do the things. So we appreciate it. Kept our masks on. 
had a great day. Everyone is worn out. It's about 9.15 now. We'll probably get home about 11, 11 o'clock tonight. We left the house at 7.15 this morning. It's a busy day, but we had a great day, a good day. The girls are watching movies in the back seat. So that is calling this a wrap. So be sure if you found any of this entertaining or informative, uh, scroll down and hit the big red subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up.